guys, it's the end of the year and since everybody else seems to be making videos about their favorite books of the year, I figured I'd jump on the bandwagon too. So here is a list of my favorite books of 2012. I actually was trying to decide for a while if I would do like my favorite books of the year like just all together or if I would do like my favorite books that came out in 2012 or my favorite books that I read for the first time or... So this is just a list of my favorite books that I read this year for the first time. In no particular order other than the order that I read them. The first one isn't going to be a big surprise, but it is The Faults in Our Stars by John Green. This book made me laugh, and it made me cry, and it was voted Time Magazine's best book of the year, so I think that makes it pretty special, and I mean like really guys, it's John Green. The next book I have is Wither by Lauren Stefano. It's the first book in the Chemical Garden trilogy, and it's a dystopian, and I just, I've talked about this one before, I really love the world she created and I love the characters and I love just everything that's happening and um, this is the first book and the last book is coming out next year and I'm really excited for that. Next is a book that I read in school in the spring and it is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. And this book actually took me by surprise and I had never heard of it actually before we read it in my class. I absolutely loved it. It's really creepy. It takes place in England. It's just amazing and fantastic and I wouldn't have read it if I, haven't, if I hadn't read it for my class and I'm so glad I did because it's just amazing. The next book is also a book that I read in school and I felt like I couldn't I couldn't make this video without talking about The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I read this for a different English class last spring and I don't know why I hadn't read it before. It's so small too, it's really short, but guys, 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 Gatsby. Next I have Delirium by Lauren Oliver, which is the first book in a dystopian series. I talked about this one before too and I really like the world she's created. And um, I wasn't such a big a fan of the sequel. There were some things I was I liked about it, and there's some things I really didn't. But I, this one was... I thought this book was really fantastic. The third book in this series is coming out next year too, and that's the last one as well. So I'm excited for that. That's the next one is Wander Love by Kristen Hubbard. And this book is such a great book if you have just if you are a traveling person. Um, I had just gotten back from a big trip after, like right before I read this and I just thought it was it was so well written and I just wanted to pack up my bags and go traveling again and it was it was so it's it's a really cute story but I like my favorite part was just like the travel aspect of it. And I thought that was really really played out really well. The next book is a book I read on my nook and so if I load it up here, I can show you. And it is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. I don't really like picking favorites out of, you know, favorites, but if I had to pick a favorite, this is probably my favorite book that I read all year. Throne of Glass, oh my goodness. I, oh, I talked about this one a lot too. It's, it's a fantasy and I don't really read a lot of fantasy, but this one is just, oh wow, so amazing. And of course it's the first in a series, so I have to wait, you know, another year for the next one to come out in. But oh man, I'm gonna have to read it again because it's so good. So good. And so the next one is actually two books, and I kind of threw them together, so it's kind of cheating, but I read them like back to back, so it was kind of like one big experience, and it was um, the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare, which the first book is Clockwork Angel, and the second is Clockwork Prince. I, I've had this book for a while and I read I think like two books in the Modal Instrument series before and I just picked this one up because I was like, oh, why don't I take a break from the other series and just read this one. And I thought, oh, it'll be fun. And, oh my god. I actually like this series more than I like the Mortal Instrument series and I, I mean, I really like the Mortal Instrument series but this one and the sequel are just, I just feel like they're just a little bit, they're just so but it's got like steampunk things kind of intertwined so it's like like mortal instruments but set in London and there's like steampunk and I just it's just oh it's fantastic and this, the last book in the series comes out next year so big surprise I'm excited for that one 
The next one is What's Left of Me by Kat Zang. And this is also the first in a series. I just loved the premise of like having like two people born into the same body and like people have to like, you know, fight to be like the the dominant soul and I just I just really like this one. And last but not least, I have Defiance by CJ Redwine and I have been wanting to read this one for a very long time since it came out in the summer and I actually I won an arc of it in a contest and I read it pretty quick and I really really liked it. I was not disappointed with it at all. This one's a fantasy, it has really great characters. I am very excited for the sequel to come out. I think it's coming out next year. I'm hoping. So so those were my favorite books of the past year. You should let me know in the comments what was your favorite book or books of 2012. I hope you all have a very fantastic end of 2012 and an awesome new year and I will see you guys later.